Hello world, Lady Mega Lucario here, and looky, I have video editing back again! Just in time too, literally got it in time for a huge announcement by Nintendo about Pokemon Shield and Sword. This though, to cover the thing I know that no one, including myself, is particularly happy about. There will be no national decks in Sword and Shield. This isn't entirely surprising considering there wasn't one in Sun and Moon, however what has irritated a lot of people is the fact that while you will be able to transfer Pokemon Ford to Pokemon Home, which is the new bank system for the Switch, only Pokemon who are in the Galar decks will be able to be transferred to Shield and Sword. No, I'm not happy about this. Very few people are, but we have been promised more Pokemon in future games and we have been told that a major reason for this decision is to rebalance the competitive game. As a competitive player myself, I can see where they may have taken this option, as I've yet to see some of the major staples of the competitive circuit. However, that just means that us competitive players need to adapt and change. After all, what kind of trainers are we if we don't find a way to win with whatever Pokemon we're given to play with? Personally, and some agree with me, I think this is a test to try a new anti-hacking system and will filter out some of the hack Pokemon that some players have generated and competed with, but I could be wrong. Right, now for the exciting news. We have several new Pokemon that have been announced. Two came out during E3's demo and another three were announced just a few days ago. First off we have Impidimp, a dark fairy type that we know has Assurance, Play Rough and Sucker Punch removed. And that's it. That is officially all we know about this Pokemon because it was in a battle demo. I'll give you more when we have it, I promise. Next we have Yamper. This little puppy Pokemon is an electric corgi and has what I consider to be an incredibly useful gameplay ability called Ball Fetch. That's right, this little doggo will bring back the ball from the first failed attempt to catch a Pokemon. He is definitely a good boy. He has been shown to have Play Rough, Spark, Crunch, Wild Charge, Tail Whip and Roar as attacks, so a pretty decent range. One new Pokemon I'm both happy and unhappy about is, I think it's called like, I'm not quite sure of the pronunciation, but I think it's Duraludon. Um, the alloy Pokemon has the abilities Light Metal and Heavy Metal. This is still Dragon, which means it hopefully should be good against the Fairy type, which I'm very happy about because as a Dragon Trainer, the Fairy type really irritates me. So hopefully I finally have a Dragon, bar my Haxorus, who will be able to kill Fairies. Um, it has Metal Claw, Flash Cannon, Dragon Breath, Metal Sound, and the brand new move whose Japanese name translates to Exhaustive Beam. This is a special steel type move with base 140 power that does 50% of the user's HP as recoil. I'm like, yay, steel dragon that isn't a legend, but at the same time its design makes me a little sad. Roly Coley is a rock type Pokemon with the abilities Heatproof and the new Steam Engine. Steam Engine massively increases the speed of the Pokemon when it is hit by a fire or water move. The cold Pokemon has only been shown to have tackle so far, it's early days, and with Steam Engine as an ability, imagine how fast you could make that in a double battle. Finally, we get to the cream Pokemon, Alchemy. She is another dessert type fairy, and she is absolutely adorable. She has the ability Sweet Bell and has been shown to have something about her that's rather special. You'll remember during my last video I mentioned Dynamax. The ability to make your Pokemon huge for 3 turns and increasing their attack power. Each max move has a special effect too that could totally affect the way the battle plays out. But it turns out there's a stage above that and it's called Gigantamax. Yes, I'm as aware as you that this sounds a little bit stupid. However, there's more to it than just what Dynamax can do. Gigantamaxing your Pokemon is a lot like mixing Megas and Z-moves into one as it changes the form of your Pokemon and gives them G-moves that are insanely powerful. Alchemy, for example, turns into this massive wedding cake that would impress even the cake boss. And she's not the only Gigantamax Pokemon we've seen so far. Corviknight and Dreadnought seem to have alternate forms as well. Could this be the reason that Megas and Z-moves have not been brought into the game? When it comes to new things in Shield and Sword, there's something I am incredibly happy about. As we've been made aware, the Gym Challenge is a sporting event in Galar, and as such has been a change to how we go about earning the right to battle the Elite Four. Chairman Rose and Vice President Oleana run the tournament for trainers who have managed to earn 8 badges, and while we don't know much about them or the competition they run, I'm looking forward to an anime style battle for the top, it's something new and exciting. And that's not the only thing new in these games regarding the league either. This time around we have version exclusive gym leaders. Bia is the kick ass fighting expert who leads a gym in Pokemon Sword with her trusty Hitmontop by her side, while Alistair the spooky ghost expert is a gym leader in Pokemon Shield aided by his Mimikyu. Oh and finally we're beginning to find out the version exclusives for Shield and Sword. 
the Dino and Jango O lines are exclusive to Pokemon Sword, while the Gumi and Larvitar lines are exclusive to Shield. So if, like me, you specialise in Dragon Pokemon, you will even need to trade between versions or bring those Mons forward using Home. That is, unless the Stillbook Duo Edition comes with codes for Max Raid, Battle, Larvitar and Dino in more places than just Japan. Well, I'm glad to be back and I hope to have more news for you soon. I know not all of my news was good this time, but at least we're beginning to find out more and who knows, there could be more secrets to Pokemon Home that we don't know about since it doesn't come out till next year anyway. See you all next time. This is Lady Mega Lucario signing off.